uh, big on drive and big on uh, keeping people in order, keeping people in tune, I suppose. Pat, great year for you guys. I know, it's been, it was a fantastic year, and I suppose, uh, you know, the celebrations have been brilliant. We've got around to so many places, you know, it's uh, been fantastic, and the welcome everywhere is just incredible. Well, I mean, we were getting calls after your appearance with us a couple of weeks back from Boston, a couple of days after you were there, and I believe it was a very quiet weekend. Uh, it was, it was a quiet, relaxing weekend. We took in a few shows and that type of thing, you know, yeah. so it was, uh, it was great. A couple I, of musicals, was it? A couple of musicals and that, yeah, no, but the, the reaction over there was just phenomenal, you know. All oh, right. We were delighted as well that, that the boys have come in as well. So, Stephen, you don't do a lot of media stuff, it's not your forte, but you came down because it's the Children's University Hospital here at Street. Thank you very much for that. Uh, how, how hard was it afterwards in the public eye with that point? Uh, well, <coughs> it was easy for me to draw a line in the sand, but I don't think uh, most of the dubs have yeah. drawn a line in the sand, so um, difficult enough, but we'll get through it, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what happens now, over the, I suppose I shouldn't really be asking this question, should I, but what happens over the next few weeks? There's no training, of course, so we can't talk about that. Um, but kicking off and in thrown into the new season, I mean, it's a fantastic start. And uh, what's, what's lovely is, I mean, Dublin County Board doing some great marketing. We're doing these four games in a row with, with the gigs as well. But Ke Ke Kerry's going to be fantastic. Who's going to take that? Yes, yeah, it is. Uh, we're all looking forward to it. Um, we have a good bit of training to do. To kind of dust off the cobwebs over the last few weeks, so um, we're looking forward to that, putting the heads down in January and getting stuck in, and, and then the big game. It's going to go down to the wire again, I think, yeah. so hopefully Stephen has his uh, boots in order again for, 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 the, for the freeze, but really looking forward to it, and I think fellas are now really just want to get stuck in, get back okay. on it. How much pressure going into that league match against Kerry? You, you know, for us or for yeah, them? For both of you. I mean, I all think, the defending uh, champions going in, is all Ireland champions going in? Yeah, they're still the benchmark of the teams around the country, so they're the ones to beat. So even though we had such a great year last year, um, that's just going to start us off and, and hopefully put us on the right track for the yeah, year ahead. Young right. Brogan's going to give us a song, I'm told. <laughs> 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 Jingle bells. <laughs> Jingle bells. Um, just talk about the club scene for, for a little bit. Obviously, a um, bit of disappointment for the St. Bridges lads from Dublin last, last weekend. But combining club and county duty, that, that's that continues to be a problem for a lot of players in a lot of counties. Yeah, 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 it's not easy, and particularly after um, a long season with Dublin fellas going into club championships the week or two after, it probably isn't ideal. Um, you probably need a bit of downtime to try and relax after such a hard championship with, with, um, with the county, but I suppose that's the way the football season is set up at the moment, and probably not the way most players would like to see it, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it at the moment. Yeah. The commitment across the year, I mean, how big is it? I, you know, I don't give up past GA players that, because there just seems to be like it's the life and it used to be maybe for the summer now it's for practically 10 months of the year well i wouldn't see it really as a big commitment nor were the lads really it's something you kind of enjoy doing yeah, something yeah. you love to do so it kind of makes perfect sense to be involved in all the training and giving in that time you know uh, it's tough certainly if you have jobs and have colleges on yeah, top of things families, but, uh, I suppose. Yeah. and families as well i'm thinking with some of the older lads here on my left Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Be careful. Oh, I'm no. just thinking Jason McIntyre. No. Be careful. Yeah, yeah no, no, it, it, it's, uh, it's busy, but it's, it's great, very rewarding, you know. All right. That moment then when that whistle went that Sunday afternoon, I mean, that was just fantastic. I'm watching you on the pitch, enjoying it. We had this chat with Pat before about the city had no fans on the pitch. I thought that worked superbly. And I know there's some GA fans will be watching and say, no, 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 the traditional way was the old way was much better. But it, it, surely to God, you prefer that than sort of being surrounded and not being able to move and having to get back to the dressing room quickly. Yeah, I think as a kid, looking at it, um, you always dream of the pitch invasion after an All-Ireland final, that type of thing. But I think in fairness to the GEA, um, what happened after the All-Ireland final this year was, was, was unbelievable. Yeah. And for players to get that half an hour to walk around the pitch and do a lap of honour for me was uh, one of the best parts of winning the All-Ireland. And I've said to a lot of people since, if, if you could get that half an hour back and bottle it, it'd be great. But uh, I suppose that's what makes it so special is that it only comes around every now and again. So many men crying in the same place on the same day. It was like, it was bizarre. And at the pubs around Croke Park afterwards. Um, Pat, looking forward to next year then, obviously. It's, it's back on the horse and away we go again. Uh, big questions. Uh, Mickey Whelan said no, and he said no again. Is that a definite no, or are you still working on him? Or will he be just maybe consultant advisor or something? Uh, look, he, you know, he, he definitely, look, I'll be talking to Mickey all the time. There's no, yeah. no question. Um, I mean, he has to be respected what he's done for Dublin. You know, the guy is 72 and he, he wants a break away from things, so we'll honour that with him, but uh, certainly we, we won't be shy of knocking at his door now for advice, you know. He wants to go out on a high, I suppose, and you can't blame him for that. Aye, yeah, he's not he, he has, I mean, he's still be involved in the game, I suppose. Absolutely, he will be involved in the game, I'm sure he's down at Vincent's the whole time there as well, you know, so uh, certainly he, he, he's not gone anywhere too far.
Okay. Now, there's always a huge expectation on the Dublin football team. It doesn't matter how bad a season you've had the, the year before. The bookmakers will always have you there, thereabouts as favourites. So going back in now as All-Ireland champions and defending that title, one of the hardest things to do. It is one of the hardest things to do, but I mean, that expectation, as you say, is on Dublin anyway, it, whether yeah. we've won in All-Ireland or not. So kind of the lads are used to dealing with that, so we, we just get sort of business as usual for us, really. You know? Excellent stuff. Um, M Matthew's here as well. Matthew, good morning to you. Matthew featured you with some of our regular viewers have seen Matthew in the Temple Street series. You, you had to go home at half time. The body yet, but we'll do that, don't worry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we brought I thought we brought him down to be nice. Oh, <laughs> oh my lads, bad, lads, thank you very much. Thanks for the joy you brought us across the season. Thanks very much for joining us in the hospital this morning. Yeah. The best of luck next year. Get those qualifying times. The country's behind you. We'll be cheering you on, hopefully, uh, across London. Let's uh, say.